Hello, thanks for joining me. Well, I've been fighting a problem on this uh, Rong Fu mill here with an RF30, sold under a bunch of different names. Uh, the quill keeps slipping on it. No matter how hard I lock down that quill, uh, it keeps slipping. Here, let me show you what I found. The way this works, it's got two uh, cylinders here that have a bevel cut on them. And that goes up against the, the quill right here. It just goes together and pushes against the quill. But if you look right here, make sure you can see this. There you go. Right there is the only place it's hitting on both wedges. So there isn't much surface area there to stop that quill from moving. Really doesn't grip it. Well, I went over to a friend of mine's shop and he's got a Bridgeport mill. And it's got a little tiny lever on it to lock the quill. I'm thinking, boy, that just it just doesn't look adequate. But what the big difference was is his uh, these slugs here, which these are made out of aluminum, his were made out of brass and they contoured the quill. In other words, it wasn't just a bevel. It actually was the same curvature as the quill. So what I did, that, that diameter there, believe it or not, is inch and a quarter. I, I figured it'd be metric, but I've got a piece of inch and a quarter brass and I'm going to cut a curve in the brass and make some brass slugs. So here's what I got here. I've got this boring bar set up the exact same diameter as my quill. And this is inch and a quarter brass here. And I got this little auxiliary vise here. I put the excuse my arms here. Put the brass over here, clamped it in the vise. took a feeler gauge and put it underneath the, the brass here until I got the right thickness. Then I, I clamped this vise where it needs to be. And now I move it over here. I don't want to waste a big hunk of brass just to have it in my vise. I got the slug here, inch and a quarter slug. And that should, I'm going to make it extra long and then trim the ends. But I want to center it. This right here needs to be four and three quarters, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, four and three quarters long. It's right at two and a half, so that gives me about an eighth inch on the end there. I'm going to go just a hair more. I don't want to come up too short. So, now what I got to do is run my mill up till it hits that cutter. And right there it's hitting. Okay, to determine my depth of cut, what I did is I turned a piece of rod down where it just fit right there. So I need to subtract this diameter from my brass diameter to know my depth of cut. That's 962, so 1.250 minus 0.962 equals 288. I'm going to go 280 thousandths deep. 
Yeah, I'll go 288. If it's a little bit deep, they'll just go in further, I think. <laughs> if it's not deep enough, then, it, then it'll be a problem. So I'll go, I'll go 290. Hopefully this works. It's really not what a boring bar is intended for. the final pass. Okay, should be about 9.56, right here, 9.63, this kind of varies a little bit, 9.55, what if I should go in just a hair deeper, it's really pretty close, uh, I think I am going to go in just a little bit deeper just to be on the safe side. I was also measuring on the curve right there, so I'm not going to get an accurate measurement anyway. Well, I think that's going to work pretty good. We'll see. I'm just going to cut it in half right there. Chuck it in my... Uh, I'll try it in the mill first, and then I'll drill some holes in it and thread one half. Okay, drum roll please. Oh yeah, I like it. The downfeed handle is in the way, won't let it go in. I'd say these were slightly smaller in diameter. Yeah, I'll make it work. Loosen my down feed and move it, and it would help. Really don't want to mill any more off of there. Make it hard to put in the chuck to drill. Okay, I loosened my down feed, and I got that flat milled right there for a clearance. And there was a lot of crud in there. I wiped it out, and it fit a lot better. I like the way that's fitting. You see a, a gap in there, it's about just barely an eighth. I think what I'll do is take just a little bit off of there and then make, the, make it so it's flush here. I may have to cut some of the diameter off. I'm afraid I'll get it clamped and then it won't release. We'll see. First thing I'm going to do is true up these ends, maybe take a sixteenth off of them and then put it back in there and then cut the ends off to the right length. And then I'll drill the holes and this is a clearance hole and one will be tapped in this side.
Okay, I'm thinking how to thread this end of it. The thread goes, maybe thread to right there. So I'm going to have to drill a clearance right here. So it'll need to be, I'll make it one inch deep. nine sixteenths drill down a little bit further. I still got a, a good over an inch of threads there. And I removed all but one washer there. And I ran a tap through it about five or six times. I believe there's a slight misalignment there. It's not hurting anything now. I like it. It's a RF30 quill lock fix. Thanks for joining me. Well, let's wait just a minute. Let's make a handle for this. good. Only thing is I wanted to put a handle on that it's gonna run into that. I screwed up. I made I sh made that too short. I should have made it that long so it didn't run into my uh, spring return there. What I really wanted to do is put a hex on the end of this. A uh, 17 millimeter the same as my draw screw. But I don't have any way to cut that hex. Well, I don't have a uh, hex block uh, with a collet, so I just drilled a, a piece of hex stock there, about the same diameter as that, a uh, little bit larger actually. And I'm going to use it to index my hex and cut a hex on there. Put a stop right here. I drew in CAD. What I need to uh, mill down, I'll touch off right there and, and mill down 165 thousandths and that'll give me a 17 millimeter hex, theoretically anyway.
a little small, but I think it'll work. I wonder why it came out small. Well, that's not, that's about right. That's about right. It worked pretty good. Heck yeah. I like it. That worked pretty darn good. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Uh, thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe.